on air. Hello YouTube, this is Pop. Today I'm gonna show you real fast how to get the right version of Power ESO and how to create a bootable USB stick for any operating system that you know is out there. You know, even Mac bootable USB sticks can be created with Power ESO, Linux, Windows, you know, name it. So, but how to get the right version of Power ESO? So that's what I'm gonna show you. Okay? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go for Power ESO 4.9 version. This is what you type in Google, okay? So when you type that, you will find here at old versions, uh, you will find this version here. Just hit this one here, you see it? 1.86 uh, megabytes. And you just download it and you will get the file. It's a second. And then you just install it. After you installed it, I'm not gonna download it. Because I already have it. After you installed it, you will see it somewhere in your program, uh, in your start uh, menu. And then you right mouse click it. Very important. And then you hit run as administrator. Okay. Just hit yes here. And then power is will boot up. Make sure that you also inserted the USB stick that you're gonna use, and make sure that you already formatted it. You know, um, just that it's empty and clean. You know, so that it's all ready to you know become a bootable installation disk. So now we started up power ISO with uh, administrator rights. That is very important. You know, and now we're gonna go up here to tools, and then when you hit create bootable USB so here you can see the 16 gigabyte stick that I have in here from PDK and I'm gonna hit source image file and I just got the Linux Mint you see I have so many versions here but I need the mate DVD 64 bit this one here and I go for the RC because uh, in the RC I have the possibility to uh, change the start menu, um, the, the finder, you know, and put it on top, you know, and uh, modify it. That while with the mate um, version that, you know, finally came out, I did not know how to, you know, do that. I could not find no way to do it. So, you know, I go for this uh, version and uh, by hitting update when i installed it you know the thing will just uh, update itself so now we can just hit safely start uh, it will say all data will be overwritten do you want to continue just hit yes and uh, now the stick will be created and as soon as this is finished you can uh, stick it into any laptop or tablet uh, from which you can boot from usb so that is also important you know you must make sure that uh, your uh, laptop will boot from this usb stick and how to astonish that you can do that in two ways um, at some laptops you can um, select by hitting f12 or sometimes f11 or sometimes f10 you know if you hit uh, this then you will get a boot menu saying you know giving you one time boot so you can choose the usb stick to boot from but in some cases that is not there what you then should do is go into the BIOS, hit Dell, go into the BIOS and uh, look for boot and up there make sure that the first boot device, you know, that is the USB stick. It will always be the, the how you call it, the hard drive. Most of the times it's the hard drive, sometimes the CD-ROM drive that is on top. Just um, go down, you know, with your mouse or with your uh, keyboard, scroll or hit... Um, arrow down and go stand on it and look at the bottom which one you should hit to get it on top so when it's on top you hit f10 if that is also uh, to save uh, the settings of what you just choose in the bias and then you are set then it's set to usb don't worry after you remove the usb you know uh, it will boot again from the hard drive because um, yeah if it finds no usb of course it will then uh, search for another bootable device in uh, the system and then it will find uh, yeah the hard drive so then it will boot so you don't have to worry only in some cases some tablets they will if you don't put back the uh, hard drive they will say no hard drive found and then you must go back into the BIOS and put the hard drive on top again so you know it will be the first 
good about the price. So peeps, I think I give you enough information for you there. So you can now, from now on, create bootable USB sticks. This is the way how to do it for Linux, Mint Linux, but also the other distributions of Linux. Also uh, Mac, uh, Mac OS X uh, uh, distributions. You can uh, create bootable uh, sticks from this way, but also uh, Windows 7, Windows Vista, XP. No, because XP uh, is uh, you need a special tool to do it uh, for XP. But um, yeah, check it out, peeps, and uh, you will love it. So um, yeah, I hope uh, you learned something today. And if you did, if you think this video helped you, don't forget to hit a like. You know, encourage me to make even better videos. And of course, um, subscribe to my channel and be welcome to uh, be part of my big family of almost almost 2,700. Uh, subscribers so all subscribers there thank you for subscribing channel 48 I appreciate it and we will try to get you even more videos daily weekly monthly and for the coming years bye bye